I want to give my top ten list, or not even a top ten list, just a bunch of ROH wrestlers in the cor current roster or were in a roster last I checked that I really enjoy. It's going to be a random list of wrestlers that I like. If there's someone that isn't in the current roster that I kind of mentioned here, well, fuck. These are just my thoughts. First guy I like is Roderick Strong. He's probably like my favorite guy in the roster now because even though people don't, they essentially egg on and insult his mic skills, they're probably not up there. The way he sounds is pretty weird. But he has an interesting voice, and I kind of like that. Plus, I like the whole conceited frat boy gimmick. It kind of adds something kind of more relevant to the cocky heel gimmick that they throw around a lot of wrestlers. I mean, his personality isn't that different from, let's say, a heel Sigler or a heel Miz from WWE. Why'd I say Sigler? I think I'm... I gotta fix my speech impediments, niggas, but... I like his wrestling style. He He's really powerful. He can do a lot of strong lifts. He really knows how to do that submission maneuver. The stronghold. It's basically a Walls of Jericho with a knee to the back. And you already know how I feel about anything Jericho related. It's fucking awesome to me. Aside from him, Mike Bennett is really cool. His ring valet is that kind of... He kind of reminds me of the old man from Rocky. And he's kind of badass. And also, sometimes it's Maria from the WWE. Maria Menounos. Well, not Menounos. Uh, just Maria, that uh, gold that was always shipped with John Cena. And she did that... Bronco Buster, and she tried doing that singing shit for a while, but it went nowhere. I think she was part of a list of people that got released during 2010. Like 500 wrestlers that were gone from the company because of that. So that's what I think about well, Mike Bennett. He's big, he's built, he has an awesome theme. I don't like his in-ring performance. Again, these are very cliched characters, though. Hmm. Jimmy Jacobs is someone who I think should have been kind of big in the WWE because we have Seth Rollins now, and Seth Rollins was somewhat of an underling of Jimmy Jacobs. But we kind of did need that emo wrestler at one point. It would have made WWE relevant somewhat in the late zeros and the earlier portion of this decade. But his character is unique. He has the mic skills. And he can do a lot of interesting stuff in the ring. He's very innovative. Charlie Hayes has really improved as a mic performer. I don't like the fact that Ring of Honor's YouTube channel has to put up every rant of his. Because they're really kind of dumbing him down, making him to a bit of a stone cold. But he's really improving. He's coming out of his shell. He in the beginning, like in his WWE days, he kind of dressed like a Stone Cold reject. I'm not a Stone Cold reject, the Kurt Angle reject. Now he's essentially a Stone Cold reject. But he's more confident. You already know. He can do a real submission maneuver. He's tough. And I like the guy. The Briscoe Brothers. Those guys, they've had plenty of matches. They're essentially Ring of Honor veterans. And they can really pull that shit off. I've seen a lot of their highlight matches from the past decade or so. And stuff that they're doing now, 
there's a lot of stuff that they work on that I really like. I've seen a couple of Ring of Honor shows in the earlier portion of this year. Jack Evans. I don't know if Jack Evans is, has come back, but when he was here, I really liked that 680 cent in. He's a unique high flyer, and he brings it to a level that I know isn't WWE friendly, but for what it's worth, he's fucking cool. But someone who I think uh, kind of brings that kind of level of he is probably Ricochet with that double moonsault, but other than that, fuck, he's pretty good, uh... Of course, making this video would appeal to neckbeard fans of wrestling. Who else? Someone that's really good. How about Eddie Edwards and Davey Richards? Usually it's Davey Richards and Eddie Edwards, but... The Lone Wolves. I like these guys, but I hate faux hawks. Like, I don't like The Miz. He got rid of a faux hawk, but I can still imagine it there, because that faux hawk personality doesn't fucking leave. But, fuck. I hate faux hawks, but they've thrown some interesting storylines in Ring of Honor. Ring of Honor doesn't really have a lot of interesting storylines. But they've done it, and they're really aggressive when it comes to in-ring work. I like that kind of aspect of how they tell an in-ring story. They're really badass. Who else? There's a... This is kind of Kevin Steen. Kevin Steen. Oh, that guy. That guy is kind of badass. Got a lot of mic skills. Uh, he's fat. He. I don't even think he looks like he can hack it, but he can hack it. That nigga's kind of cool. He has that shirt that kind of matches Cena's shirt. And that swag don't come sheep Nike bullshit. That uh, kill Kevin Steen shit. That they they really know how to <laughs> cash this nigga. They really know how to make this nigga make money. I like that. Hmm. I'm trying to think of the name of that guy. That's kind of wide. He kind of looks. Kind of looks, hmm, see, wide, nasty ass facial hair. Hmm, I saw him in some earlier segments. Eh, I didn't like that guy anyway. For the most part, a lot of people in that roster, they can go to hell. They're like fucking 50 and they ain't worth shit. A lot of younger talents do appear in the show, and I've seen them in interesting segments. I've seen them do cool uh, in-ring work, and it's probably some of the better shit that's happening in the company since they've had the same kind of match for a bunch of years. But there's there's some real talent up in there, and it's guys that don't even have Wikipedia pages. It's guys that are are pushing 30, pushing 40, and aren't really made to shine out, but there's a lot of good guys, and there's a lot of stuff to work with. They got Jim Cornette, and Jim Cornette's real as shit, but they're not really doing much with the company as much as they should be doing, as much as they could. Anyways, this is Mr. Wonka 7. I could go all day about interesting ROH guys, but that's about it. These are all the guys in my head. Be sure to check out guys like Amazing Red. I know Antonio Cesaro came from there, and he was called Claudio. Chris Hero might be coming back. I don't know.
because he's not in WWE anymore because he's been talking shit and he old as fuck. A lot of guys there I like, but it's not a promotion I really care for because they don't know how to run a fucking. Hmm? Dinner, and fuck Thanksgiving. Anyway, hope you guys are having a good day. This is Mr. Wonka7, and, and fuck everything.